I was in the Navy once. A ship would go out six or eight months, say goodbye to family on the pier, things like that. And when the ship came back home, it was always impressive. The one, the families that came to meet the service member. By the way, for those of you who are former veterans or active duty, thank you very much for your service. That feeling, seeing family when you pull in after not seeing them for six months is similar to what I felt here. It was like seeing family. I've grown so close to everyone in this theater company that it just, I was so full of joy when we got to redo Shrek. It, it feels awesome to be back, to socialize, to see everyone here. I have missed getting to perform on stage and with a lot of friends and family here. So I'm very excited. I'm really thankful because I think this is a really fun show and it's got a lot of energy. I personally am happy that the people that put the work in 23 months ago have a chance to come back and really finish what they started. I think all of us, especially being the creative types, hate unfinished projects. There is an energy of, okay, we're gonna make it happen this time, come hell or high water, and um, that is a fun energy to be part of. You take for granted just how much uh, tenacity you build up when you're doing shows regularly, and to go from nothing to an amazing energetic show like this definitely is a workout. <laughs> it's getting back into the routine of learning lines, learning blocking, and just this cast has been super fun. So it's been fun to get back and working with people face to face and live. You know, there's no real substitute for actually doing it with the people that you're working with. It means a lot going into the show and doing, an, doing this show in particular because it's like, the world was trying to take something away from us in, in a way of speaking with the pandemic. And we're like, you know what? We're gonna take it back. Honestly, I think that's one of the reasons why the cast has really sunk their teeth into this show. Uh, you've got, on the one hand, uh, a lot of funny moments and many times to make the audience laugh. I love the comedy. It's very fun. I get to play across from my mom and my friends and everybody I know and it's a funny role so I get to play up the comedy. My favorite part about being Fiona actually is going to be playing the role with um, John Ratliff as Shrek because we um, portrayed Charlie Brown and Lucy a long time ago and hit it off, had a good chemistry on stage so I'm really looking forward to kind of recreating some of that fun times as Shrek and Fiona. Shrek is just all about that childlike wonder but yet so aggressive at the same time and uh, doesn't want to let anyone in but then when he does what can happen to his life and on the other hand when you look at the message of shrek and you dive deep into it it's very timely for the world that we're living in right now oh it's so important for this show um, our future shows just theater in general to be able to to come back um, it, it brings the community together this show in my opinion is um, really important Important, especially at this time. It's a show about people that are different, people that you don't understand. In our you know, world of Shrek, it's fairy tale creatures versus um, you know, more human-like creatures. But that tension between groups that have a difference in lifestyle or a difference of opinion is so relevant right now. Everybody has become so beaten down. We hear nothing but the pandemic, bad news every day it feels like, and it feels like we're just not getting out of it. Whenever times are really hard, we need something that's gonna take us away from that for a couple of hours. Take our minds off of it, something enjoyable. That's what the role of entertainment has always been. Uh, I think a lot of people might dismiss this show because it seems like kind of a a silly more kid teen type show but um, I think there's a lot of parallels with this uh, biblically when you look at characters like Moses and Noah and Jonah uh, where God qualified the called uh, instead of calling the qualified. No matter how um, different you might feel everyone has a part to play in the in the greater scheme of, of life and, and the way that it plays out on uh, you know tying it to a more spiritual nature, God's plan for you. Um, you may have a different role than someone else, but it doesn't mean less important. To have our doors open again and to share something that we love together again, uh, to share our passions, our talents, and our, our love for the Lord has been just incredible. So it feels like a, a welcome home. I hope they're just happy that they get to see 
live theater again in that they're just filled with the joy that something can be back to normal and that we can give them this sort of, you know, normalness in life and just take from that.